Welcome back everyone. Welcome back to Let's Play Space Crew Blind. Well, we've uh, we've gotten a new champion that has attacked us and uh, unfortunately we couldn't get it. Phasma champion Valado Abakut encountered by a crew of a Firefly. Uh, yeah, it was quite interesting and I thought that was a hacking thing. I didn't really see anything's hacked. Of course, uh, I might have missed him while um, while uh, I was doing other things. So that's very possible. We have some new crew gear and crew uh, skills. Wait a second, why, why isn't this showing like a little thing like that? That, you know, you haven't clicked on it yet. That would be nice. So this full face environment mask, which protects the wearer from radiation, contains a mid-sized personal oxygen supply. Unlike this one, no, this one also. But this one protects more and uh, gives you more oxygen. Uh, that could be good for Nade Newt, which already has one. So suit, nothing new. Holster, nothing new. Gloves, nothing new. And boots. These are heavily armored boots, which protect the wearer well at the expense of mobility. So uh, a little bit more protection and a little bit less speed. So obviously Dr. Loco is going to get these. Uh, Solosphere is going to get these as well. Nade Noob will stay with the magnetic boots because they are just awesome. They changed. Oh no. Oh, these are power boots. No, never mind. Gravity boots. Uh, there's gravity boots mark too. Oh, armored gravity boots. It does slow him down a little bit though. Hmm. Okay, anyway. Uh, yogurt also needs the armored boots. Alcove needs them as well. I'm just gonna give it to everyone, despite the fact that some of these guys do need to move around. But yeah, see, movement speed 45 and uh, 76 for Nate Noob. He does have 10 armor instead of 60 though for these guys. But he could also get this full face mask, which, well, this one already is full face. Uh, would give him a little bit more of everything. Radiation, vacuum resist, and armor. Uh, but yeah, I think... I mean, it's only 90. It's worth it because he has to go out and repair the nacelles sometimes. Also, he has the better radiation suit. Okay, so let's see the training. Let's see what kind of skills they have now. Dr. Loco has the inspirational speech. Inspires the crew recharging some abilities and restoring their health. Well, that's actually really useful. I'm, I'm assuming that's going to have a long cooldown. Solosphere has... Uh, perform no, same thing. Don't look at the other stuff. Reactor boost. Uh, I hate the fact that it all already tells you. Stealth mode. EMP. An electromagnetic pulse that temporarily disables all ships nearby. If they stop moving, that would be amazing. Especially with champions. But I kind of have a feeling they're protected. Focus fire weapon or weapon backup power. Provides an extra unit of power to this weapon, allowing it to be used even without power from the reactor. Well, we've never had to use that before and hopefully never will. Let's see what new is for the spacecraft. We got some new armor. Standard plating Mark III. Look at that. Look at nothing. Beefy ship. That's cool. It's quite expensive. And unlike in Bomber Crew, you don't really have to worry about weight here. Uh huh. It's quite beefy. Hmm. Let's see what else we have. Systems, that's the same stuff. I mean, it is, right? High capacity and fast recharge. Same stuff, same stuff. Armored reactor and balanced reactor. An improved chip reactor. It provides a little more power and is a bit tougher. But I really like the m efficient reactor. I like that a lot. And the medical bay. Ah! Fast medical bay. This medical bay is faster to heal the crew members, but it has a very limited capacity. Uh, so even less than our medical bay. I mean, it would be nice in the middle of battle, but usually we heal... Well... I don't know. Out of battle anyway. Unless it's absolutely necessary. The medical bay mark 2 is 2000 though. But it does give us a fair amount more healing. Hmm. Let's see the engine pods first. Oh, no, the escape pods. Oh, escape pod mark two. An improved escape pod. It has good chance, a good chance of an automatic recovery. If that fails, there's a strong chance that the pod can be tracked and recovered. 
Very expensive, though. How the heck are we supposed to uh, get all six? Oof. I mean, there's other stuff we need to to do. So if I were to... This is good. A fire extinguisher there. Med kit there. Actually, this could use two med kits, to be completely honest. Med kit spacesuit. Fire extinguisher. Phase rifle. Don't really need the phase rifles here, I think. But I'll keep it like this for now. And I think... We need some more... Oh yeah, we already have these. <laughs> Let's do this one. Because we've killed a lot of them already. Yeah. Okay. Um, hmm. Maybe armor. Standard plating Mark III in here. Let's install that. <clears throat> and maybe at the front as well? Yeah, look at that armor now. We're very low in credits, so... Let's be careful. Escort transfer clear out Phasmid forces, recover comms probe, high risk, or Phasmid mothership, which we're gonna do now. <laughs> We've decrypted further data from the recovered probe. It detected a large object near Pluto. Our analysis leads us to believe it could be a spacecraft. Go and investigate. Uh, should I? Should I do it? Should I do it? It's a lot of research, but I think I don't want to do it just yet. Recover comms probe. Let's recover the comms probe. I'm sure there's going to be a champion here as well. Uh, right. Uh, you go over here. You get the weapon. Yeah, they're a lot slower. Inner alpha. Okay, like that. Also, turning off gen... Um, Gravity now should prevent it from floating around. No, no, it does. It just floats around. <laughs> Never mind. Okay. Like so. And off we go. Okay, launch. Whoosh. Some time ago, we lost contact with a probe at the edge of the solar system. Okay. It may contain important data. Go and recover it, uh, its data bank. Jump. We have, we'll have that uh, triangle, that warning tri triangle permanently burned in. <laughs> because we never turn on the gravity generator. I do wish we could just remove it for a bit of extra money. <laughs> oh? Is that different music? Feels like different. I mean, sounds like different music. Okay, where are they coming from? Uh, down there. Three gunships. Oh, no, sorry. Two gunships and a uh, border. And there's three gunships that I was talking about. <clears throat> There's the uh, border gone. Excellent. Now, our defensive piloting should help with these gunships as well. Uh, maybe not. We're too big of a target. Too close. How are you missing him? Look! Hex Demon, how are you missing him? Oh, more coming. I suppose I could have used the uh, analysis, the combat analysis, but... I don't know, I wasn't expecting the first waves to be so big. Look at that. Missiles going in. Oh, all three missed. Boom! Anything else on the radar? No. Stop missing! Hex Demon! There we go. Lovely. I love it when they get close and they just... We just thrash them. Come on. Excellent. Okay, let's go for Mercury now. Boom! Nice. So much fun. Yeah, see the uh, 
The shields are going up slowly. But that's fine. The uh, evasiveness makes up for it, I think. And if nothing, I mean, if all else fails, we still have Yogur to just recharge the shields quickly. Mercury to objective. It's quite close. Still don't think we could get there in charge before the enemies arrive, but I think that's the whole point. You can press tab to toggle fast forward, but I kind of don't want that when uh, there's enemies coming. How do you see anything? Well, I suppose everything's on screens. Four of them. More. Three gunships. <clears throat> All that fire coming towards us. Nothing else on the scanner. Boom! Yeah, I think most of the enemies are going to be at the uh, at the objective. But of course, I could have used the combat analysis right in the f first wave, at the first sector, and then it probably might have recharged by the time we get to the objective. So, no. Oh well. Come on, how are you missing that large ship? Come on. Oh, <laughs> that was awesome. Oh, more coming. We're still on defensive. That's good. More gunships. I really like the gunships. They're not that much of a threat and fairly easy to destroy. And wow, I should have used the combat analysis. Because there's just loads of stuff coming. But because our shield is still pretty good, I'm just saving everything for, uh, for later. Our rear shields are not so good now. I'm saving everything for, you know, focus fire, combat analysis, and so on and so forth for the objective. Come on. No missing. Ow, ow, ow. Well, they took our shields down in the front. But they should be recharging quite soon. Come on. Come on. Recharge, please? Oh. We got those guys as well. Nice, there's one. It's also the defensive. The missiles seem to be missing a lot more. Not very good. Ow, front shields are gone again. Again. Come on, just one more. These guys are always so difficult to hit. The interceptors. Okay, let's try an attack posture. Which does very little. Well, I mean, yeah, we did destroy him, but I don't know. Pasmid fighter eliminated. Uh, no scuff marks on the ship, the rear. I do like all the armor we have now. <clears throat> the asteroid belt delta. Still not an objective. Okay. Evasiveness will be increased with a higher level pilot or with more reactor power diverted to the engines. Higher evasiveness helps you avoid asteroids and enemy fire. You can press tab. Oh, already coming. Okay, I'm gonna wait until they get a little bit closer. And then we'll probably use the support stuff. Oh. Oh, it's these guys. More of them, I think. Where? Down there. Oh, that's uh, interesting. Let's have some fighter support as well. That's a hacker ship, isn't it? You know, the support, I mean, focus fire everywhere. Probably a waste, but hey. So let's see. Are they hacking? It doesn't look like it. Boom, 500 XP. That was nice. Three fifty. That's really nice. Yeah, wasted my support options a bit, I suppose. Maybe not. I mean, it's still going performance analysis, and this guy gives us a lot of XP. 
It's just those interceptors are really annoying to hit. Come on, get him while the performance analysis is going. 500. Oh, that's such a cool explosion. Yeah, those are difficult to hit. But they have difficulties hitting us as well, despite the fact that we're a big lumbering brick. I guess Dr. Loker is just so good at uh, flying. Nice. And performance analysis is still going. No, no, no. Come on, get him. Nice. Come on, performance analysis is about to go. We need that XP. <laughs> it's gone. And they're retreating through fuel. So, pretty much almost perfect use, I suppose. Because we only have one. There we go. Yeah. That was perfect, actually. We, uh... We used performance anal analysis, focus fire, and the fighter to support, support to uh, pretty much 100% efficiency because we were never without enemy fighters. You're a bit pale, um, Omega-7. All right. Let's go. Engage. Boosh. Hazmats are showing up on long-range scans. Clear them out before attempting to recover the data bank. Where's the data bank? It doesn't actually show it to us yet. So it's going to be defensive. All the way. Lots of enemies coming. Lots of them. Gunships. Interceptors. More gunships. Six gunships. I like that a lot. Oh, more. More gunships. I like it. Those are so much fun to use. Oh, focus fire ready to use for everyone almost. Is it? Yeah. Okay, how about we just use it all? Come on, focus fire, let's have some fun. Focus fire! Yeah! Power! Look at that. <laughs> explosions everywhere! I want more explosions! So satisfying. Here goes the missiles. A bit uh, too close range, I suppose. <laughs> There's the, uh, oh, more of them. Oh, it's these annoying ones. And dangerous ones. And more of them. No borders, as far as I can see. No, not in the moment. Oh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Come on. You have a chance to take them all out because we're going straight. Ah, that was good, though. We almost have no shields left. I think I want some shields, yogurt. Come on. Replenish shields, please. And... Uh, uh, thank you. Lovely jubbly. More of them. Oh! Man, this is fun. Ah, oh, there's the borders. The transports. Yeah, it would be nice to have a... Uh, hollow room back on base where you can view all the enemies that you've uh, seen yet and see their stats and such just like an x-wing versus type fighter ow 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 you know what we want some evasive piloting because they're taking our rear armor down too much i don't like it dark loco you're gonna be careful about those those asteroids yeah using evasive Maneuvering, uh, evasive piloting in an asteroid field isn't that great because uh, he still wasn't evading everything. There's more coming. Gunships. I like that though. Okay, shields are going back up. Not to fall though, they won't, I don't think. Focus fire is not ready yet. Boom. One. Shields still going back up, so that's good. Oh, forward shields are gone completely. Jeez, that was quick. Come on. Oh. Oh, more. More. <laughs> and more of these annoying interceptors. Are we still on defensive? Yes, we are. 63% of ace. Oh, it goes down when he has to change course. Interesting. Come on, they're going straight for us. No, stop. Stop moving. Ah, darn it. 
Missile should be doing a good job though. Nice. Come on, more missiles. These are perfect. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, where's the uh, uh, satellite? It should be there somewhere. There it is. I just wanted him to start turning that way. X Demon, go in the top of your health. Just smidge, nade noob as well. Uh, but it's, you know, it's fine. Oh! Wasn't paying attention. Our uh, reactor is slightly dented. Ever so slightly. Well, there we go. Actually, go and heal up. Do we need to pull it in? I think we need to pull in the thing, right? I don't think we need to scan this. Processing unit. Whoa! Oh, it's going straight for us! Okay. That would be interesting if it actually destroyed it and we would fail the mission. Excellent! Our enemy's coming. Um... No, enemies are not coming just yet. But they probably will be soon. Return to base. The rear of the ship, uh, yeah. It's interesting that it takes the paint away, but uh, it doesn't do much else, visually, anyway. Of course, despite the fact that they did a uh, number on our rear, uh, it's still all green, so, yeah. Kinda happy about that extra armor we have. Off we go. Charging for hyper jump. Oh, enemy? No, no, that's not enemies. What is that? What? The heck is that red thing? I have no idea. Off we go. It might have been the uh the probe. To base. We've managed to decode some initial information stored. And we're under attack! Large enemy presence! They came out of nowhere! Requesting... Ah! We've already seen that. Well, I don't think we have any ARG in our complement. We'll continue to investigate. Well, uh, well done, crew. No doubt we have our work cut out for us ahead. Yeah, it's no wonder they got destroyed. Because they were requesting ARG. And I don't think we, they had any ARG in stock. So, what can you do? You know, if there if there was Arnold there, they, I suppose they could have helped. Oh, these guys look a bit more dangerous. They get double turrets. Ow, ow, ow! Yep, yep, that hurts. I do like the fact that they fire just anywhere though. <laughs> I think it's because of the evasiveness. Boom! Anything else in the radar? Oh, yeah, there is. More of the interceptors. Nice. Our rear shields are pretty hurting. Okay, how about we do actually performance analysis and just focus fire on everything? Because there is more stuff coming. It's more borders. We need shields. But I don't want to move Yoga right now because he's got... Uh, Focus fire going on. Nice! And he's taking out those uh, transports. Look at that. Oh, missing slightly. Come on. Take him out. He's about to board us. Excellent. I didn't want to use uh, evasive piloting right there. Nice. Nice! Okay, it's a base. It's kind of far away though. Two and a half kilometers. So uh, they might get back. And back on our behind. Nade Noob. Go and uh, heal up. <laughs> I like how he... Uh, tips around. Well, tips. Yeah. What's the word? Mm, yes, I suppose pitter-patter. But... And those magnetic boots. Yeah, do not want asteroid collision, please. Sometimes... The game spawns asteroids that go uh, towards you, though, like almost directly, but you can avoid them, it seems. 
I suppose if you're on defensive, maybe, or the, if the pilot's skill is high enough. And they can quite hurt. To base. Mercury. So yeah, if we were to get one more, we could always have Yoger on the thing. Or Nade Noob on the engineering thing. I don't know. Would definitely make the game easier, but they do suggest you play with this amount of crew. So. Whoa! Okay. Uh, yeah. We just... Holy moly, that was not good. Okay, we need... Oh, that's not good. And we've got enemies incoming. That was really bad. We jumped straight through a, da a damn asteroid. Fortunately, it didn't seem to do that much damage. Just did just damaged the uh, the core a bit, the reactor. That was still not very nice, though. I do have to say. Shoot. Is, is that part always dark like that? Or... Yeah, I th think it is. I don't think the asteroid did that. That was weird, though. I was, I was almost sure that when you jump like that, that immediately makes your ship uh, go into no-clip mode. For those that don't know, um, it basically means that you cannot, you have no collision detection. Come on! I know it from the Half-Life console commands, but I do believe it's, all, it, it's a... Uh, I thought there were more. Oh. I do believe that was a quake engine thing? I'm not entirely sure, to be completely honest, where it originates. No clip. I mean, no clip as a command. No clip. Whoa, very nicely done. Look at that. Anything else in the radar? The answer is no. Very nice. That was unexpected. And just when I was talking about asteroids, rogue asteroids, and there you go. White, one right in the middle of our jump path. That was weird. And kind of cool because, well, I mean, I wanted to say kind of cool because it makes sense. You know, it was in the way, blah, blah, blah. And then, you know, wow, look at the ship. And then we immediately, as we got to the other side, went straight through one of the jump points <laughs> without collision. So yeah, thanks for that game. System Inner Alpha. Well, it's quite close, actually. Uh, performance analysis is not ready, but fighter support is. Everything looks good here. Would it be cool if the inside of the ship also got like banged up and sparks going and stuff like that, but I suppose we already have that. It just gives you a Danger of fire. See, as soon as I go to defensive and he starts moving, that's when our gunners have a real hard time hitting anything. As soon as we get more stuff on the radar, I'm gonna call for fighter support. There we go, because this is the last one anyway. Performance analysis is not done yet, unfortunately. Let's have some uh, focus fire for fun times. Boom. Boom. Very nice. Performance analysis is ready. This is the last place anyway, so we might as well use everything. Nice. Azimuth eliminated. Nice. <laughs> Come on. More. Oh, what's going on? Our oxygen generator. Let's fix that. There's a transport coming. A cool little uh, effect. Okay, I think the transport is uh, gone. That was lovely. Performance analysis is still going on, and so is fighter support, but it doesn't matter. This was the last wave, 
And we're going back to Athena Station. Uh, I wish I could just see this fighter here up close. That would be nice, but... No can do! I guess that's how they talk. <laughs> Disengaging from combat. Lovely. Excellent! Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> it's interesting though, it seems that the fighters themselves have the ability to hyper jump very quickly, in fact. Maybe only the larger ships need those jump gates and the fighters can do it on their own. I don't know. I don't know. Alright, we've done that. I think next time we can actually do the uh, critical mission. Let's see. Oh, nice. Shield overdrive. Nice, 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 nice. Alright. We're not gonna look at all this new stuff, because we're gonna do it next time. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.